On January 10th this year, learners returned to school across the country following a two-year absence owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. After studying for 14 weeks, the learners broke off for holidays starting last week with the last schools breaking off yesterday. Now, head teachers have given us an insight into how the learners and their own staff coped with the resumption of schooling over the last 14 weeks. The children, uh, many of them were excited to get back to school after a very long period of time. But they are, then there were those again who were a bit negative. They didn't want to be around the school because they had started some businesses out there. With government allowing for pregnant learners to report back to school, some schools received these learners. We allowed them to stay here. We called the parents. We spoke to the parents and we agreed that the students would stay here up to the end of term and that is what has happened. After settling down in school, it was not long before head teachers noticed that the learners' discipline had deteriorated over the lockdown period, with tempers frequently boiling over in some cases. Suddenly, there was some slight hike in theft, a bit of bullying, anger in children, bitterness in children. That They have learned a lot of vulgar language, they have learned a lot of fighting out there. Guidance and counselling were chosen over suspension and expulsions in most schools. Twice I invited the police to talk about discipline in their uniform. Given the environment that they were going through, but God has helped us through our counsellors, through involving parents, we have managed to prevail over that. We avoided expelling or suspending unless necessarily very urgent. In class, it was also noticed that most learners struggled to comprehend academic work after being away from class for a long time. We really have a challenge. Mm. After a very long period of time, remember they could have been slow learners, so it becomes a challenge, but we still handle them. Of course, it has not been easy, remember, that we had students coming into class, being promoted into another class, and yet they still had a backlog of the other class. We had some changes of the bridge curriculum, which is new, such that we can cover up some of the work easily by leaving out some topics. In order to ensure that all learners are not left behind, continuous assessment was offered as opposed to end of term exams. After a topic or something, the teachers do assess to see how far they will have gone. Classes 1 and 2, which are of the new curriculum, those ones uh, have had their activities of integration and their reports are definitely different. Amidst all this, school heads had to cope with the imperative of ensuring that all learners complied with COVID-19 guidelines. But head teachers also point out that the tightly packed term left teachers extremely exhausted. However, by the time we were closing the term, you could see they were tired. We were all tired. Yeah. But the, the work under 14 weeks are rather long. We are used to 12 weeks. And remember, we were told not to give exams. So we were teaching. And even parents struggled to meet their financial obligations. Then there are those that have had own challenges. For instance, I lost a job, I lost this and the other, and therefore the support has gone down. Most of them have met their commitments. However, there are those who failed, given the fact that some of them lost their jobs others were transferred and so many things of that nature. Despite these challenges, head teachers are more than ready to welcome learners again for the second term. But the rising prices of commodities is putting pressure on them and some are now considering the idea of hiking school fees. And we shall be talking to the parents and giving them how our budget has run up to this point and then we see how we are going to start second term. I think we need to call parents and we sit on a round table to see what we can do. Because now feeding these learners, it's not easy. Second term will commence on 9th May 2022 and run for 14 weeks, ending on 12th August 2022. Joyce Nagato, NTV Weekend Edition.